Good morning. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about TEDx, but from a bit of a bigger perspective. So everyone knows what TED stands for, Technology, Entertainment, Design. And I think my goal this morning is to talk a little bit about what the X stands for. So TEDx is happening all over the world. There are thousands of events, thousands of TEDx organizers, tens of thousands of volunteers. So all the events begin with a big idea, and that's sort of what connects all of the TEDx organizers. They all had some kind of big idea to begin this event in their communities. So to give you a bit of a perspective of where the events have gone and come from, TEDx began in 2009. As of January this year, so the end of 2011, there had been 126 countries that have run TEDx events, 45 million views of TEDx talks online. If we fast forward to the next slide, I don't even really need this, we see that we are at 137 countries. We have double the number of views, 100 million views of TEDx talks. Just a few weeks ago, we had the 20,000th TEDx talk recorded and the 5,000th TEDx event. These numbers are absolutely incredible, but what really has changed in my mind as one of the TEDx organizers coming from Canada, coming from a different part of the world than here, is how much this TEDx community has come together. So the next slide will show you not just that I can tell you that there's a lot of events, this is a list of 18 events. Now you might be wondering what do these events have in common? Every one of these events is taking place today. So these 18 events are all happening today, November 24, 2012. It's unbelievable. And what's special to me is that you'll see one called TEDx Guelph University. That's actually the university where I studied. It's 20 minutes away from where I live in Canada. And so all over the world today alone, there are probably 10,000 people sitting in theaters like this and smaller rooms and bigger rooms around the world sharing these ideas. So this past April, something very special happened. There was an event called the TEDx Summit. It happened in Doha, in Qatar, which is in the Middle East. And about 700 TEDx organizers, including organizers of TEDx Athens, which is how I met the team here and why I'm here today, got together for one week. During that week, we shared stories and ideas about our events, but also about the future of the TEDx community. This photo here actually shows us on the Wednesday of that week where we spent the day in the desert. We're out, and it's a funny desert because you'll see that there's water there too, but <laughs> during this day, 700 organizers who all run events. Some of these events are 50 people sitting together in a community center. Other events are 1,500 people like you see here in a theater of this size and beauty. But what they share in common is that the X means something to them. So before I speak to you a little bit more about the power of X, I want to show you a small video that gives you a bit of an idea of what happened at the TEDx Summit in April. There's a generation arising who are idealistic, passionate, want to help shape a better future, and it's unbelievably energizing to be around them. Uh, you guys are uh, growing fast. Uh, here in Doha, so much building and growing. I was here just six months ago, the W was just the V. And <laughs> yeah, six months from now, it'll be the X. TEDx, TEDx, yes. So we now think of X as not as a subscript or a footnote, but as, as the multiplier. It's TED times, it's TED to the power of. It's really like no other phenomenon I, I've seen in business or, or in media. It's a, quite a remarkable phenomenon. Each card books is one billion people. And there are two billion children in the world. These people don't have electricity. These ones have electricity. These two have washing machines. And then again, the old will die and you will get three billion children. I like to think of myself as a storyteller. Every day I am amazed of how little I sleep, but how excited and energized I am each morning just to get to know more people. And I know that this is just going to escalate more and more. It's a 
small little shift in the way I see the world. It's just not grand changes, but it's these little shifts in consciousness. The diversity here is immense, like 90 countries are like a mini UN, but much more personable, less bureaucratic, totally flat organization. I envision that in a couple years time, the United Nations come to us, TEDx organizers, to solve a problem they can. So that video kind of gives you a very small glimpse of what happened at the TEDx Summit. But for me personally, what happened was I realized that that X, which stands for Independently Organized Event, really means something different to each person there. And this photo, actually this collection of photos here, shows what different people sort of described as the meaning of X for them. For me personally, on the next slide, you'll see that it's all about change. It's about creating change and positive impact in your local community or around the world. So the next picture. This is a project that was described at a TEDx event. Did you know that the 16 biggest cargo ships in the world contribute more carbon dioxide to our atmosphere than all of the cars on Earth combined? When you hear those types of statistics, that's one thing, and you can sort of think about how do we impact that. Well, for me, TEDx and the X in particular is about creating that change. And so this person here is working on a project to build hybrid ships. So we have hybrid cars. Now he's putting sails on these cargo ships so we can use the power of wind. The next project I want to tell you about, TEDx Baghdad. Hiawa was a volunteer at TEDx Amsterdam a few years ago. And in seeing the impact that TEDx Amsterdam had on its community, he decided to go back to his home country after not having been there in over 33 years. So he's from Iraq. Iraq is a very misunderstood, and especially in the media, country around the world. And he went back to Baghdad. He ran the first TEDx Baghdad, and the first TEDx event ever to happen in that country. Just a few weeks ago, they held the second event. And these events are creating so much positive change both locally within their community, but also on a global scale because of the live streaming and the fact that you've got people around the world watching these events. Even today, as we're in this theater, we've got people around the world watching the live stream. We've got people at some of the universities here in Athens watching the live stream right now. Hello to you guys. Thank you, everyone, for being a part of this. The final project I'll tell you about is one called The Wind Drinker. This is an incredible story, not just because of the technology, but because of the relationship to TEDx. This windmill, this turbine that you see here, doesn't look all that different than other ones you would see, except what it powers is a reverse osmosis water system that can take water that's not drinkable and create clean drinking water in places in the world without any electricity through the power of wind, and that's why it's called the wind drinker. And so when this project was introduced at the TEDx stage, they actually awarded it um, an award that year, and they raised $35,000 at that TEDx event and through that local community to actually contribute to building more of these wind drinker projects and to further the research and development. So what we're seeing as TEDx continues to grow around the world, as the organizers get to know each other and build these networks and get together, is that we're seeing actions coming out of these events. And it's more than just the sharing of ideas. It's people like you sitting in the audience. And so what I'll leave you with on the final slide is to think about what the X means to you. What does change look like in Athens? What does change look like in Greece? What does change look like wherever you are watching in the world? And think about the power of TEDx. So welcome to TEDx Athens. Thank you. <laughs>